Good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning. I think you can see me. Do, do, do. Yep, pretty sure you can see me. All right, free, free. Out you go. Out. Go on. So I thought that I would do a quick video. And I know how we talk about homesteading, and I show you a lot about the goat stuff. But I think that we also need to think about how we save our food, how we use our food. So I'm peeling some of the potatoes we I harvested. Well, the dogs and I harvested. Oh, there's the oven. And I have some bacon in the oven cooking. I cook it in the oven because I put it in a pan and I want all that grease to stay there so that I can then bake these potatoes in it. And then what I do is I, I chop them up into small pieces, kind of like hash browns, and I bake them till they're mostly cooked and nice and crunchy. And then I will let them cool, and I'll cook up the sausage I've got in the fridge waiting. And then I mix them, cook, let that cool, mix it all together, put in some scrambled eggs. Not cooked scrambled eggs, but raw eggs. Scramble them up. <clears throat> Out of the way, dogs. <coughs> Choking here. And then I bake them. And I found that I like these silicone things to use best. I should get a couple more. I tried the, like, muffin paper, and they just stuck. And then they were like, well, you have to spray them. And I'm like, well, what's the point of buying a, a muffin paper and then spraying it? I mean, if I had good muffin tins, I could probably just use them that way. But I don't have really good muffin tins. But when I bake these, I'll bake them in all of that, all the bacon grease. So they'll get that bacony flavor cooked in with them. Unless there's too much bacon grease. And I save all of my bacon grease. Um, finicky little Freya doesn't particularly like her puppy food. So I melt about a tablespoon or two in the morning. And then I just put it on top of her food, mix her food up, and then she'll eat just fine. She's okay with the food as long as there's some uh, bacon on it, I guess. Well, who doesn't think everything goes better with bacon? But these make really nice breakfasts when you're in a hurry or a snack in the afternoon when you're really hungry and you just don't want to cook something. Because there's a lot of time when you're busy that it's nice to have a quick food. Otherwise you want to head out and uh, keep dropping them. Otherwise you're going to head out to the store and buy pre-made food, which A, isn't as healthy for you, and B, is going to be way more expensive. If I was, I had the cash, if I had cash on me at all times, every time I didn't go, I would put that money, like $5 in a jar, to say, this was what I saved when I didn't go out to eat. This is what I saved when I didn't go out to eat. <clears throat> and it would show up pretty quick. That's a good idea to do. Every time you want to go get coffee, if you make it at home and bring, a, bring it in a, you know, a cup, a reusable cup, you can find it with a Goodwill for really cheap. Um, put that $5 in a jar. And I'll bet at the end of the month, you'd be surprised how much money is in there. And just $5, because you figure your coffee's probably three or four bucks and you're going to tip. Unless you're not a nice person and then you don't tip. I'm going to assume you're all nice people and you tip. Because those people don't make a lot of money and they actually work for their tips. Somebody's got something going outside. Probably the neighbor. Hey, dogs, you're not supposed to eat raw potatoes. And I only did like five potatoes. So there won't be a lot of potato in this. But I have dehydrated some leeks. I might use that too. And then I will just Cut these all up and have them ready to go in the pan when the bacon comes out. John's out at the blind. He'll be back. He went out to check on some stuff. 
and he'll be back before we know it, and then I can have some breakfast. I have a whole day's worth of chores planned in the barn. And I'm gonna make a video on my no waste goat feeding. Because a lot of them, they want you to spend a lot of money. I mean, it's a lot of putting together. Mine is minimal, minimal construction. I mean, it's something everybody can do. And I made an improvement to it over the last time. Because, well, goats are goats and they climb. So we're climbing on it. I had said in the video I would update it if I came across any other good ideas. So that I will post later. And I think we're going to take the dogs on a walk out and go check on the trees we planted. Which would be a nice walk. Normally when John goes to the blind, we play the find your daddy game. <clears throat> and when I can see him in the field, I let him out. But it's so wet right now. I don't want to let him out. It's too wet. Too, too wet. And you know what? The nice thing about using these potatoes this way, so you follow my ADD conversation, is that you can simply, you don't have to worry about too much salt because you're cooking them in bacon fat, which has the salt already. So, that's right. It's buying salt. So, where I work, we have salt and pepper shakers. And I was gonna buy, you know, one of those round things of salt to bring in. I, I did, I wanted to buy salt and pepper so we could refill the salt and pepper shakers. Cause I use them and I figure it was probably my turn or maybe it wasn't my turn, but I just figured I'd grab some. John must be coming down the trail, the horses are looking that way. Um, but <clears throat> I was doing online ordering and they didn't have the great value salt but the Morton salt for the same container was like what was it almost three dollars and the good value was like 85 cents I was like well, you know we'll do without salt I'm not paying that money I mean I may as well buy season you know pink sea salt which I didn't want to buy because I didn't know if uh, that was a good I don't know if people like pink. I like pink sea salt. My husband just sharpened my knife, so I have to be very careful. See, so like I can see where it cut part of my... I wasn't careful and it cut a little bit of my uh, towel. It's nice having super sharp knives. I'm not used to it. They get dull really fast. And I always use a cutting board. I never, hardly ever... Maybe once or twice a year, only because I'm cutting something that slides off it. No, I know Daddy's coming, but you may not go. No, you may not go. So, anyway, I just wanted to let you know what I was doing. So, they're just going to be like little muffins. You can buy them. They're just, so it's potatoes, onion, anything you want to put in there. Sausage or bacon or... You cook the potatoes till they're mostly done because you don't want raw potatoes. And then you scramble your egg in a container and you put in your meat and whatever else, green pepper, onion, whatever you want to put in there. And then you just mix it all together and then you fill it. Now you cook the meat first. Then you just fill them like it up even because they'll shrink a little bit. Cook them and then when they're done, you pop them out, put them in a freezer, but in a bag or in a Tupperware container, put them in the freezer or the fridge. And then in the morning, you just grab one and go. And you get quite a bit, depending on how much potatoes. You can make them more potatoes, less potatoes. As much salt and seasoning, you can put hot pepper in it. You can do whatever you wanted to with it. Stop. You can put some cheese in it if you wanted. But uh, it's a really nice way to make a breakfast. You can hear the dogs are getting excited because John... Oh, there he is. You guys have a great day. Bye.